Hi everybody, this is Lugomir with Sports Pacific. I'm here today at Impact Performing Arts in Gatorsburg, Maryland, and we're here to show you a self-defense technique you could use to save your life in the street. Now before we start teaching you the technique, please keep in mind that this is meant for self-defense only. Please use the technique responsibly, train the technique safely, and be very aware of your state and local laws so you better understand what constitutes reasonable force before you get into legal trouble by hurting somebody. To help me demonstrate today, we have Amir. Amir is going to be my attacker and it's going to be a very simple technique when somebody goes and puts their hand on my chest. The technique that I'll be demonstrating is not a lethal technique, but it's a technique that can cause permanent injury. We're going to be hitting the joints. This technique is meant to work against someone who is bigger than you, who is stronger than you, and so this technique needs to be of a more brutal nature just to make sure that the pain inflicted is enough to get the attacker away from you. So Amir is going to come close and in any situation where someone reaches out and actually puts their hand on my chest, they've officially assaulted me, legally speaking. Unless I gave him specific permission to put his hand on me, he is now breaking the law and assaulting me. I am legally at right to defend myself. It doesn't mean that I'm legally at right to kill him unless I can prove that he was trying to kill me, but I can at least prove he was trying to do me physical harm. So first thing that I could do is cause him pain and break his balance because I'm going to be attacking his knees afterwards. I'm going to grab, say if it's his right hand, I'm going to grab with my right hand here and almost at the same time, I'm going to strike his elbow with the palm of my hand. This can hyperextend it or he can even snap it or at the very least it can tear some ligaments or muscles around the joint. So I'll grab here and I'll hit at the same time. Now as I hit, it's going to break his balance a little bit. You see he's being pulled forward. What I'm going to do here is grab the hand that's on the elbow, slide it to the wrist here. Now this part of the technique is going to have me just pulling him this way. Now the way that I compound that technique is I take one of my feet, either my right or my left, and I strike him in his knee. So if I were to take my right foot and I see that his left knee is closest, while pulling I could strike the knee, which could do a couple of things. At the very least it could knock him over. I could break his knee, I could also dislocate his shoulder at the same time. At the end, he will be on the ground, I will have an opportunity to run the other direction or to continue inflicting damage until the threat is eliminated. So to show you one more time from this angle, He's going to come in here, I'm going to grab, strike his elbow, make sure you do it carefully when you practice, and with either leg to either knee, I'm going to pull and extend at the same time. Now let's see that from a different angle. Okay, so seeing from a different angle, Amir is going to put his right hand on my chest. Again, you see the same side or the opposite side arm, but my right arm to his right arm, I'm going to grab and strike. If you don't want to use the palm of your hand, you can also use your forearm. We chop at that joint, right at that joint. From here, since he's already moving off balance, I can continue pulling him off balance by taking this second hand and joining it at the wrist. At the same time, strike him in the knee here, or here, or here, or here. Really, whatever you have best balance with. For me, maybe it would be here. Strike, when you're actually doing it, extend the leg all the way out to break the knee. When you're practicing it, obviously be careful. So again, from this angle, he puts his hand on my chest. I hit him here, knock him off balance, hurt the elbow, pull, strike the knee at the same time. He goes down, I go away. So that was a quick demonstration of a defense technique for when somebody is putting their hand on your chest. Of course, be very careful using this technique, training this technique, and understand, 
the level of intensity and damage that you can inflict might not always match the level that you're being threatened with. So make sure you use it at the right time. Thank you to Amir for joining me. Again, this is Lubomir from Sports Specific. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.